Hello, welcome to another in our series of Intergraph CAD Works and Analysis Solutions videos featuring Caesar 2. This clip will review the hanger sizing capability found in Caesar 2. We have a simple system here with three hangers above three pump nozzles. We wish to size those springs properly for those pumps. We'll go into the existing model and develop uh, the hanger data. We will see here that uh, we have hangers on the elbows 170, 70, and 270 over the pumps A, B, and C. A is 300, B is 200, C is 100. We'll first look at the element 60 to 70. And there is our hanger at node 68. We will size an anvil spring here with a load variation maximum of 25%. one sixty eight and two sixty eight will also have springs those are the horizontal weld points on those three elbows above the pumps load cases are set automatically for spring sizing the first two load cases one and two set the spring three four and five evaluate the system in the operating installed and expansion stress range conditions In the output, we'll first take a look at the hanger tables with text. Here we'll see what the selections are, and we have two different sizes springs selected for these three points. At 68, we have a size 5, and the other two nodes, we have a size 4, anvil spring, figure 82, which are their short range springs. They each move about 3 millimeters, and their hot loads center about 1100 newtons. They have a 5% load variation. Are these good springs? Well, we'll have to take a look at the load cases on for the pump reactions. We'll look at the operating case for the pumps and springs. And we see 68 above 100 or C, 168 above 200 or B, and 268 above 300 or C. There seems to be a lot of load still on the pumps. These hangers are not carrying as much load as I would expect for proper pump operation. So now we're going to take a look at both the operating and installed loads on these pumps. And now looking at 68, again 1200 newtons, and at 100, we're pushing down 600 newtons cold and 1600 newtons hot. The springs need to carry more load to take the load off that pump. This is true with all three pump situations. How do we make the program do that? Well, we can automatically have the program remove some of the load off of the pump and place it hopefully up on the spring instead. We do that by releasing those pump nozzles only for the dead weight analysis used to calculate the operating load on the spring. So at node 68, back at the input, we're going to free the restraint of that node below it, the pump node, which is node 300. I'm sorry, 100. And we're going to free it only in the Y direction. Okay, at 168, that's node 200. We're going to release that in the Y direction. And at node 268, the anchor below that is node 300, and we're going to release that only in the Y direction. Again, this is only releasing it for that first load case, L1. It is buttoned up in every other load case. We can now go on to the analysis. and review those hangers. First the hanger table. Now we have size 6 springs at all three locations. Those are bigger springs. Uh, we see that uh, we still have the same motion of about 3 millimeters but we have much larger load about 1950 newtons on all three of them and they're still short range 5% load variation springs. Let's look at the loads on the pumps and springs operating sustained restraint summary again at node 68 now it's up to 1900 pounds excuse me 1900 newtons hot and look at that pump we're pulling up in the cold case 88 and pushing down only 944 in the hot case much better selection now we can do this one other way 
if you know exactly what load you want to carry on the spring, you can give that number directly to Caesar 2. Here we are at node 68. We'll do it just for this one. I'm going to say I want, in the operating case, 2397 newtons on my spring. That's the operating load in the spring. So after the initial analysis, you can dial in any load you want. So now when I go to the output processor, look at, at the um, operating sustained restraint summary. I see node 68. There it is, 2397 in the operating case. And look at that load in, on the pump, nice and even between the two of them. Hanger table with text. There it is, hot load 2397. It's a size 7 spring now. So you can get the numbers you want out of Caesar 2. And there you have it. Thank you for sharing your time with us. For Caesar 2 news, free webinars, or success stories, Google Caesar Insider Blog.